Welcome to Delmarva Backyard, everybody. If you're new to the channel, the channel's all about barbecue, home brewing, and backyard projects. Basically, if you have a backyard of some kind, the channel's got something for you. Today, what I'm working on is a smoky backyard meatloaf roll. And you can see I'm prepping some veggies here, and it's going to be awesome. So stay tuned. You're going to love this backyard smoky meatloaf. I'm telling you, there's nothing like it. It's absolutely phenomenal, and it's not hard to do. We're going to cook it on the Rectech RT680. But first, we got a little prep to do. Not too much, just a little. Got an onion, pepper, a little bacon, garlic. I'm going to go ahead and get all this sliced up and get it all ready. I'm going to start the meatloaf mixture with just over a pound of fresh ground pork. And then a two pounds of fresh ground beef, 80-20. I'm just using plain bread crumbs. I think that would be the best for a meatloaf style. You could use Italian if you wanted to. Two cups. Recipe will be in the description below. Quarter cup of milk. Three eggs. Do salt and pepper to your taste. I like a lot of pepper. And salt. And then you want to go with your favorite barbecue seasoning. About two tablespoons or so. All right, now we're ready to mix it. Now the thing about mixing it is we don't want to over mix it. We don't want it to become tough. If you over mix it, it will become chewy and a bit tough. So we're just trying to get these flavors to kind of come together and bind. Okay, so once you have just a, a light mixing like that, now we're gonna add some of our, our veggies, our bacon and the garlic. Now we're not gonna add it all, uh, but we are gonna add a lot of it. We're gonna, we're gonna add all the garlic. About half the bacon. About three quarters of the onion. And about half the pepper. We're gonna leave the rest of that for when we roll it. I'm gonna mix that up. 
on a clean sanitized surface. We'll take your mix. And you're gonna start pressing it out. All right, so that's what we have. It's, uh, I don't know, something 18 inches by about 12 inches or so. Now we're gonna put some barbecue sauce on it. Now I'm gonna sprinkle some Parmesan cheese all over it. And I'm gonna be pretty heavy with it. We're gonna sprinkle the rest of the bacon, onion, and pepper in there. Now we're gonna roll it up. cook the meatloaf on the Rectac pellet grill. We're gonna cook it at 275 degrees, which I already have pre-fired it up to. If you were 250 degrees or below, you could use the extreme smoke feature. I am using the extreme smoker tube today. As you can see, I got it already started. So uh, that'll give us a little extra smoke content and that's what we're looking for. Almost three and a half hours in and our temperature from the eye grill two is reading 150. Time for sauce layer number one. We're gonna put our sauce on in layers. This is a homemade barbecue sauce that I did. I'll put the link up above. We're just gonna coat it all over here. We're about three degrees away. We're gonna put our final layer of sauce on here. There's our meatloaf, five hours on the smoker, and it, it is just beautiful. Uh, it smells wonderful. Uh, I hadn't done one like this before, but I, so far, uh, minus the rolling part of it, uh, everything's went real smooth, and I can't wait to see how this thing looks inside. So I think the meatloaf came out really good. It's got a lot of barbecue flavor and uh, it, the smoky flavor around the outside. You can see the smoke ring. Uh, it, it's just full of barbecue flavor. 
throw some mashed potatoes on the plate, some steakhouse string beans. Let's give this meatloaf a try. There's so much flavor. The barbecue sauce, the smoky flavor from the pellet grill. You have the Parmesan cheese, which is nice because it doesn't overdo it. The onions and peppers are really good with the barbecue seasoning on them and the barbecue sauce. I think it all came together really, really well. You gotta give this smoky meatloaf a try, guys. I really appreciate you sticking around to watch the whole video. Check out these other videos over here. You may very well be interested in those also. The inspiration behind the videos is your feedback. And the best way to give me your feedback is to hit the like button down below. Most importantly, hit the subscribe button down below. And you can also leave comments. I can't wait to see you next time.